If my calculations are correct, then I will be able to create the first ever time machine. All I have to do is upload it to this USB, and I will be done. Now my mom won't think I'm a disappointment! <laughs> to the 21st century. It's less purple. Hi guys and welcome to the VFX show, the show that teaches you how to do visual effects for your next film. Today I'm going to be teaching you the VHS effect from the 80s or 90s or whatever. Let's get started. Hey guys, you like that new intro? I did. It looks awesome. I worked on that pretty hard, so uh, that's the new sleek design for the VFX show. Hope you guys like it. I haven't changed it since like 2010, so you're welcome. Okay, so we're going to do the VHS effect. So I have some stock footage here, quite simple, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to start it off. Um, we have uh, some stock footage of some TV static, which will be added in later. Um, you can find this on YouTube and download it using keepvid.com and download an HD version of it and just place it on top or just videotape uh, TV static, which would probably be the most realistic. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is the chromatic aberration. Okay, so first off, we're going to take one of our shots here, make sure that it's... Uh, Oh, I already got it on there. Make sure we have levels, individual colors on there. And we're going to set this to add. We're going to duplicate it three times, and the bottom one we're going to make normal. Because it really doesn't matter. Okay, so first off, we're going to open up all of these. And I'm going to show you. We are going to sing the channels for each of them. So let's have this first one be red so we're gonna put blue uh, gr output white at zero and green output white at zero and then we're gonna do the same thing down here but with blue so we're gonna take the green off to zero and the red white to zero now we're gonna do this with the final one but this one's gonna be green so go hit zero and hit zero now your shot looks exactly the same as when you started for it. But now you have something different. Now let's rename these. Since the first one's red, the second one's blue, and the final one's green. Red, blue, green. So how we get the chromatic aberration effect, I'm just gonna hit the uh, the keys on my keyboard and I'm gonna just slide the image around just to get a a interesting effect. Now I think I'm just gonna move just the red channel to shift the colors just a tad because this is what VHS did a lot back then. This is um, I don't know why it did but it did. And let's just switch around some of the green and get a nice effect in here. Go down or something. Just hit my uh, Okay, so that looks cool. See how it's changed a bit? Okay, now that we have this, we can pre-compose this, and we have our final, or we can just call it chromatic. Okay, so now that we have our chromatic, we can add uh, the next effect to this, which is the aspect ratio bars. I found this online. It's just some aspect ratio bars that set at... Uh, 2.40 aspect ratio. Now we don't want this. This looks too cinematic. We want this. Hit uh, R for rotate and rotate this thing 90 degrees and we're going to scale it up 
178. So this gives like the standard uh, definition look that everybody's going for doing these VHS effects. Okay, so the next effect we're gonna add is called uh, old TV or bad TV old. Put it on top, and now you got this. Um, since it's I'm in third, uh, so I don't want to go to full because I'm afraid my computer will blow up. And we're gonna bring down the wave here. It's a it's not as good as it would look, you know, without it. So I'm we're gonna bring down the wave height because the wave height's pretty freaking bad. Um, I'm gonna bring down the noise just a tad, just a smidge. Now I, I have we have this and it looks really nice. It's very saturated. It's very uh, cool looking. Um, now what we're probably gonna do is uh, start adding on, on over this is some TV static. Now we're probably well, you can uh, obviously soft works well. I like using soft light, but you can mess around with. Uh, you know, maybe overlay, screen, add, and mess around, see what looks best. And we're just going to drop the opacity down so it's not as noticeable. And we're also going to bring this box blur a bit down so you can actually see some of... Because in this, in this particular video, you can't see it well because it's in third, not full. Okay, now... Now we have some nice uh, TV static over it, but we're not quite done yet because this is the 80s. We need to add something new, something cool looking. So we're going to add some uh, optical flares on this. So let's add optical. If you don't have optical flares, you can obviously use a solid. And I'll tell you later because I'm going to spoil the surprise. Go to options and hit clear all. Yes. Hit glow. Here you go. This is all you need. Hit OK. Now, on this corner, since there's light coming from it, we're actually going to put this below the aspect ratio. We're going to give some brightness to this, maybe some scale. Put it up here. And we're going to change the color to more of a orange more of a, a light orange to kind of give it a glowing effect okay so with uh, without with without with um, kind of give kind of like this cool look now we can duplicate that effect bring the flare over here and we can add uh, since it's the 80s some purple Bring some purple into here. Now, I actually think this is overpowering the shot, so bring down the opacity. Okay, now without that, that just looks cool, you know? Okay, now you can be done here but we're gonna add just a tad bit more uh we're gonna add a some nah, no wrong file we're gonna add some you know tv static here and then we're just gonna have the tv static fade out from it so like it like seems like you just turned on the tv and it was like yeah you know what i mean no Okay. <laughs> okay, now if we play this. Oh, yeah, see that? Looks really nice. And a beautiful setting, very nice looking. But there is another effect that I forgot to add, and I kind of forgot about it color emboss. Uh, an effect you probably never used before. Uh, because for a good reason it's it's kind of useless until you're doing something like this it, it essentially just takes your footage 
and kind of like pops it. And what happened back in the old days, I think the VHS kind of popped it out. I don't know why it did though. And it kind of adds a really cool effect in it. And of course, since it's in third, not full, I really don't want to go to full because I'm afraid it will blow up. You know what? Just go to full. Just to see if it blew. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, cool. So, that's the effect. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of other things, like, you can add... Uh, I don't know. What's... Okay, my time limit's going down, but I think I'm gonna go for it. Okay, taking this effect, making... Oof. Oop. Getting a rectangle tool and kind of cropping out, like, a section of it. Setting it to soft light, and we can put it like down here. Actually, soft light uh, doesn't work. Overlay, no, that doesn't work. Color dodge, no. Color classic color dodge, mmm. Mmm, linear dodge. Uh, actually, yeah, okay. Uh, screen, yeah, screen works. And you can add kind of that, you know, like the thing where it goes for a bit. I don't know what it's called. It's called the effect for me. And we can move the position up just a bit. And then cut it off. Maybe even bring the opacity down for it to work. Okay. So now let's see what we got. Okay, and we got an effect that sort of looks like this. Cool, right? I thought you would like it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, more videos to come. I have actually scheduled everything that's coming out up until December. Um, I usually have 10 episodes per season um so this is season four and this is the second episode so get ready for eight more amazing videos i'm also just a little secret if you watch all the way to the end i am making a second show on the vfx show it is it doesn't really have to do with vfx and that's why i had to make a second show because sometimes it comes together and I need to work on both of them and I want to show you both of them. You can probably guess it that now I'm saying it, but I've already made the intro and I've already made some of the episodes. So uh, get ready for the new show. So yeah. Have a nice night, guys, or day, or whatever it is. Or maybe you live in space and you don't have a day or night. You're like Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar. I didn't watch that. I was actually watching Kung Fu Panda. It was pretty good. You know what? I'm just rambling now. <clears throat> that was good.